All right. Back here with some more of our mono white blinking control deck for uh, modern. And looks like we are up against blue white control. Interesting. Well, we're going to lead on Amiria here. Hopefully, we can tax their counter spells to the point where. Uh, the funny thing is, a lot of our creatures aren't that great to counter. Like, do you really want to counter a Wall of Omens or a Pilgrim's Eye? I mean, the answer is probably should be yes, but it still it doesn't feel great. And our opponent's Wraths aren't that great against us. And I think if we can get our Amiria going, our late game is probably equal to their late game. I think Amiria can generate as much card advantage as uh, as uh, Sphinx's Revelation or something. Alright, let's see here. What are we doing on turn two? Our opponent burns our face, of course, because that's how the deck works. Well, I guess we're just playing a Pilgrim's Eye. In the next turn, we can potentially double Wall of Omens. Or Wall of Omens plus Lone Missionary. The life gain is pretty sweet, actually, uh, because that's kind of how this deck wins, is some combination of Celestial Colonnade Beats and Burn, basically. I know because this is one of the decks that I play a lot in Modern. So our opponent could have Cryptic. Ghost Quarter is... So we have a lot of ways to cover Celestial Colonnade, so I'm not too worried about that. Day of Judgment is not good in this matchup. Um, well, I guess we'll just play another wall. Our opponent doesn't especially care about the wall because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> doesn't block Celestial Colonnade, doesn't attack. So it's just not really a threat. Resolving a Squadron Hawk would be a pretty big game good against control decks. Our opponent has Resto. So this is actually a more aggressive uh, build of the deck. That's a little disappointing just because it means we're actually going to take three damage from Resto. But we should be able to kill it with Path. We got Colonnade covered with our Ghost Quarter. So there's probably some clicks, snapcasters, restos, possibly, um, what's it called? Uh, I don't remember. Possibly Benser, a one of maybe. So I think here we are going to Play of Planes, play a lone missionary, gains us some life, and we will pass the turn. And then on the upkeep, we are going to pass this resto. Since we have, oh, it just automatically dies. I thought our opponent could have a counter there, but apparently not. Sun Titan. That'll be good if we can resolve it. So we'll play Ghost Quarter. I think we're just going to attack with our Lone Missionary. See what our opponent does. Alright, so we get the beats with Lone Missionary. Then we get to play Squadron Hawk. With enough mana to pay for a leak. Excellent. So now we get to refill our hand with Squadron Hawks. And do we want to just print another one? 
and just leave up Ghost Quarter? No, we'll pass. We want to be able to path plus Ghost Quarter here, I think. And the reason to sit on the Myria is if we can draw enough other lands, we can play it and maybe get an activation out of it without it getting tech edged. So we're kind of hiding the fact that we have a second copy of Emiria, basically. We're at a pretty healthy 18 life, and our opponent scoops it up. Okay. So, uh, so here we have what for the sideboard? Firewalker is sort of tempting in some amount. Mortipod, we can probably cut a Mortipod. Probably cut an O-Ring. They might be bringing in Planeswalkers and Karanos from the sideboard. I mean, definitely cut Day of Judgment, which just aren't good. And then, what are we looking to bring in? Uh, this member is not the worst. Celestial Flare is kind of an interesting way to kill a uh, Colonnade. But Path and Dismember does that too. I guess we can bring in Firewalkers, although they die to Path. But in this deck, getting things Path isn't the worst, because it gets us another land for our Myria plan. So I guess we do that, and I guess maybe we'll just bring in one more Dismember for an O-Ring. If you don't have any removal, then you're just going to lose to Celestial Colonnade. Well, I think we unfortunately need to start with an Amiria here into Wall of Omens. If we draw another uh, white source, a Plains or something, the sand is actually kind of sweet. Let's see if our opponent is more aggressive with their counter spells this game. Countering our bad creatures like Wall of Omens. Firewalker. Alright, we can't cast that yet, so we'll just go with Wall of Omens. And, yep, our opponent is going to be more aggressive, it looks like. Oh, just remand. Well, remand is fine. Well, we don't want our opponent to know that we're stuck on lands, because then our opponent is much more likely to start countering our stuff. Ooh, Geist. I wasn't counting on Geist to St. Traft. Well, I guess we go Wall of Omens and see if we can find a land. And the answer appears to be no. Uh, so this isn't going too well. I guess we'll just dump the Firewalker. And Serum Visions from our opponent. Uh, so Geist changes things a bit. That's a reason to bring in Celestial Flare, or leave in some amount of Wraths. So we're definitely taking four in the air. We can block the Geist itself, but that's still a pretty fast clock. Land? Not land. The opposite of land. Well, I guess we try a Squadron Hawk. Wouldn't be surprised if this was countered. It's not even especially good at the moment, because we're going to have to discard. Yep, good spell snared. So our opponent is going much more aggressive. We do have a lot of creatures that block and kill Geist, but with no mana... I'm just going to use Snapcaster, a Serum Visions. Yeah, without mana, we're, we're in some serious trouble here. Well, we're just so far behind. Pretty easy for us to get Templed out. Uh, so we're taking another four, blocking the Geist. So I guess our best bet is our opponent doesn't have a counter spell and we can draw land and resolve Blade Splicer. Ugh. Well, we can try to cast a Mortipod. Yeah. Alright, uh, that pretty much does it. There's no getting back in this. Being 
that far behind on lands is uh, pretty deadly. Uh, Geist of St. Traft. How do we want to deal with that? Uh, we bring in a couple Day of Judgments, which might be the best option. And then just hope that we can block block our way through it. Get rid of the dismembers. Yeah, it seems fine. Oh, this looks familiar. Very familiar. Okay. Well, we are playing the can we draw a third land game and how much of our stuff gets countered also. Both of those games. Good times. Well, lead on the Amiria. Well, our turn two play is going to resolve, because they played a tap land turn one. Uh, we did not get to draw land, unfortunately. But, lone missionary up to 24. Cross our fingers and hope that we can draw land for next turn. Land? 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 Well, another ghost border. Alright, so let's get in with lone missionary. If our opponent taps out, then we can resolve this pilgrim's eye. But our opponent did not, so I guess we ghost quarter and hmm, play Mortipod. Mortipod getting countered is fine. But we really, really need this Pilgrim side to resolve. So we're kind of hoping our opponent taps out for a Geist or something. As funny as that sounds. And then we can resolve the Mortipod. So our opponent stuck on lands, or are they... Uh, just playing their serum visions first. Could go either way. Oh man, no blue mana. Well, that is excellent. Now we are guaranteed to resolve our Pilgrim's Eye, which is what we really needed to have happen. Because uh, that lets us get another planes. And also puts us in a position where we might even path something to get another planes if we have to. Um, yeah, I guess we let it go. Uh, it was, I think it was close. All things considered, with our shortness on white mana and our opponent's deal. Okay. Well, that's sort of alright. Now we get to Flicker Wisp, Bouncing Pilgrim's Eye. Get back Pilgrim's Eye. Search for a land. Unfortunately, we can't play it this turn, which means even in the best case, we're still two turns away from our Sun Titan. But we are at 24 life, and we get to block this guy if he attacks. Alright, planes into Wall of Omens. Draws us a card here, and what do we get? Ah, another planes. So now I think we attack with Pilgrim's Eye. If our opponent plays a Resto, we can let our Pilgrim's Eye die and then just O-ring it. Otherwise, I think we just pass. And try to block. Is it Static Caster? Sort of annoying. Because uh, that lets our opponent shoot down our Flicker Wisp and start attacking with Geist. Do we want to path it? Feels bad to give our opponent the land. I think we'll let it go for now. Uh, we wouldn't mind our opponent tapping out on their turn for a counter. Then we can get the Sun Titan chain going. Uh, that was odd. Opponent... 
All right, shot our wall of omens. Do we want to pass the static caster? Yes? No. Maybe? Question is, will this make our opponent... Will this make our opponent counter? And the answer is not necessarily yes. But I think we're going to do it and try. Alright, our opponent wants it go, takes the land. Alright, let's, ho let's hope we can draw something sweet here. Because I don't know if we can just slam our Sun Titan, unfortunately. Now we draw another Pilgrim's Eye. Which I think we will cast. Gets us another Plains. Play the planes. Pass the turn. We're still quite a ways away from having Amiria active. And Electrolyze would be pretty bad for us right here. Jeez, our opponent has a million static casters. That is something. So now we might be forced into a position where we have to Sun Titan just to stay alive. This feels bad and I'm odds are it gets countered. Yep. Remand. Alright. Well, we are dropping way down in life, unfortunately. And our opponent's running pretty well. Gets to get in for six more. And we're probably dead. Well, Sun Titan resolves. Now we got to figure out the way we can do this and stay alive. If our opponent has Path and we try to flicker the Sun Titan, we're pretty much just dead. And then we would be better off just getting the Lone Missionary. Can we win without going that route, though? If our opponent has Path, we're basically dead anyway. So I think we got to take the riskier line and try to go through the flicker wisp chain flicker wisp blinking sun titan well that part worked at least we had to play a planes and pass the turn And we get back Sun Titan, which gets back Lone Missionary. And then we're going to have to try to path this Static Caster, I think. Oh, man, and our opponent has Resto. Well, we might still just be dead. We're taking seven, and that puts us in Lightning Bolt range. Yep, all right. We are a bolt away from dying. If we live... 
we can get back our lone missionary again and gain some more life, but I'm not too hopeful of that. Block the Geist, drop to three, unfortunately, and then die to a bolt. Oh, another Geist. Still bad. But we are also technically not dead. And we drew another Sun Titan. Oh my lord. Well, I think we need to lead on O-Ring. To get rid of the Staticaster. And now we attack and try to go through the same chain. Attack with Sun Titan. Get back Flicker Wisp. Use Flicker Wisp to blink the Sun Titan. Cast a second O-Ring. Targeting Resto. Get back our Sun Titan. Get back our Lone Missionary. Well, we are sort of staying alive because our opponent didn't have anything there. And we and we win. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh that was hairy. Our opponent must just have had nothing. So, uh wow. Uh okay. So we just beat Blue Right Red Control in a game that I didn't think we had any business winning, but stack's pretty sweet. All right, I'll be back with another.